Hola! Another day, another adventure. I decided to walk along railway trail today because it's a fine day. The sun is out, although it's still winter, mid-March. It feels like it's already spring. I just moved on this side of the island and this is my first time doing a walk on the railway trail since moving almost two weeks ago. While I was doing a grocery run going into marketplace in Middle Road, I saw the entrance to the trail and said, okay, one day gonna take it and here I am. From Horseshoe Road, I turned left on Tribe Road number six, went up the hill saw the beautiful view of the ocean and just before the church and the Bermuda Institute I turned left and there it is the railway trail let's continue with our walk as the name suggests there used to be railway trucks here now there is just this trail that people can walk on or where cyclists can bike. The railway was constructed in the 1900s and the train operated from 1931 to 1948. It was one of the most expensive railway constructions ever in the world. So this train that I was talking about used to be the primary means of transportation of the islanders. But right now, it's already the buses. And of course, if they have their own cars, their cars and bikes too. As you can see, it's not really a straight trail. In between, there are gaps or roads like this used by homeowners here. And out of the 22 miles that used to be the railway, there are only 18 miles now that are accessible to the public. This is a pretty common sight in the railway trail. I assume that much of the expenses in creating the railway was to go scrape off the rocks along the hills or whatever. Here are some of my classmates in the railway trail today. Now, what is this motorbike doing here? We are at the end of one trail. You will know because there is this fence-like structure to signify the end of one section of the trail. And here we are. You will also know that you are on the trail if you see this sign says head there for the railway trail I just crossed the street and on this side I saw the sign railway trail so I can still continue on over there it's still the railway trail but I saw one car pass so this is not exclusive to walkers joggers and bikers cars can pass here now the question is should I continue because you know I don't really find roads like this interesting but I'm thinking if I get towards there I might see another trail where it's closed off to cars so let's go No more cars so I'm just glad that I continued because I feel like this is not the end of my adventure yet on the railway trail today.
This is the second one. Why are they parking motorbikes along the trail? Another stop sign, meaning another road that divides the railway trail. This is definitely not among the most interesting sections of the railway trail. I would know because I've taken a few sections on the Paget area, which are really nice. Because there, it's mostly nature, but here, there are many parts that go through the roads to houses. Not uncommon in Bermuda to see old and used cars and boat or whatever that's called along the road. At this point, I want to see already the road to Middle Road or the South Shore Road so that I can go there, take the bus and go elsewhere. I'm kind of done with the walk now. And just after saying that, here I am. Nature side of the railway trail. I might continue on. These are my favorite colors. Feels like fall. I can't remember the name of this plant, but we have a lot of these in the Philippines. Spotted loquats, which make really nice jam. I'm so tempted to pick fruits, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to pick the fruits here, even though this is public property. It's best to be on the safe side, right? Let's go down there. This is the end of my railway trail adventure because I can already see Middle Road. I'll go there, take a bus, and go elsewhere. I don't know yet. For now, it's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. Have a great day.